Hello, welcome to my channel Lady D and this is going to be my reading for the collective for this week. So we are, well today is the 6th, Friday the 16th, going through the 24th of September. Um, and with the planet, what we've got coming up is that, well today we actually do have um, the sun opposing Neptune which can bring about a bit of um, very daydreamy day or tiredness or um, I feel like even like delusion but I feel a bit tired. The big thing we've got this week though happening is we do have Mars which is in Gemini squaring Venus which is in um, Virgo. So when planets square each other they work against each other. So we've got Mars you know which is the strength in Virgo. We're looking at our social networks or our social scene or being very social um, people with friends around us, our networks, we're looking at even learning what we are doing in court, people who are studying or doing any courses. Um, and then we've got the Venus, which is in Virgo, which is all about um, perfectionists, having things done the right way, a bit of worriness there too. Um, also a bit of compassion as well. So this is going to bring about problems with relationships as well as money because Venus is relationships and love and uh, Venus is also money with the Mars and it's going to bring about probably more not so much the strength more the frustration and the anger it's going to come out with these clashing so it's probably not a good time to start relationships or, um, or, or like dating I feel like there's going to be a lot of worriness coming up with this transit to do with like finances and also relationships being very unstable um, with this this is going to happen there to around maybe the 20th or even a bit more for in, to going into next week. So it is about um, judging and I feel like just staying through the, the, the processes with relationships that are the things, issues that are going to come up with this. Um, and I was getting what's coming up for this week as well. I was getting that... Um, it's going to be like like nervousness or people scared to move forward um, and people like, like hesitating with things. I feel like also not sticking to this people might not stick to a decision maybe coming up. So maybe, even with this Mercury retrograde, these are going to bring up these things. People undecided. Um, need to ex I feel like it's good a good week where we need to express our ideas. So try to move forward. I mean because Mars is still moving forward. So it's still the activator. So there is a thing here of action. Um, ensuring, um, ensuring that you're being heard. I feel like this might be a, a time, especially with relationships, where you feel like you're not being heard. So I feel like that this is going to be a good week or, or make sure that you're being heard. But I feel like that there's going to be a lot of worriedness that's going to come up here with people this week. And trying to fit into the mold um, into what everyone wants you to what, how everyone wants you to to be so people might you might be trying to fill that mold um, but again it's it is you know it's okay to be individual but I feel like this week people are going to try and hide or, or try and fit the mold or and this can be the the square that's going to come up with this I've got here um, slow and steady wins the race so you know when we're looking at things that we are wanting to take action with and, and stuff that we approach that we're doing that it is I got slow and steady will get you through it rather than being too hasty it's got here sit with your feelings and search for um, yeah, so sit with your feelings and the answers for what you're looking for so I feel like this is going to be a good week to just take a step back sit and go within and to like meditate or find those answers that you're looking for by just more being by yourself and just meditating or just sitting still in the stillness the answers will come to you I feel like this week with that I feel like this is a good week to improve your home um, and your life so making those improvements too and like I was getting a little worriedness and about moving forward and with this mercury retrograde it's just it's causes havoc I give you myself this week I have found so many things each day something tends to happen with me with this mercury retrograde whether it be there's a wind my windscreen i got a, a little chip my windscreen from a, a a rock that flew into my my window the other day 
um, forgetting my phone halfway to work and having to come back even today having technical issues with my computer these are things with the mercury retrograde mix this with the square that's happening with venus and and mars this is going to be an interesting week i feel like a lot of people are gonna it's like, like holding back but at the same time and it's like giving sort of giving things a go um still taking that action because that mars is still moving forward uh even like my my friend i've been trying to encourage her to do a a certain course that i feel like would be really good and i'd love to do it if i was in melbourne um the guide drawing course and because of the distance she was hesitating but she actually did it and she's enjoying she's so glad she's done two classes and her work so far has been amazing so it's like when we sort of hold back with things instead of just having the ideas and acting on it moving forward once we do we find that it's okay um let's do some cards too for the week to see where we're going let's see for the week ahead I feel like people energies might be down I know Mercury retrograde the energy is down so I feel like people might feel a bit tired energy deflated it's and it's a bit like a laziness energy I feel like coming out too okay I feel like that hmm. You might be trying, or you might, someone might be telling, tell you to change the path that you're on, um, or to try something new, to do a different, different way. And I feel like that people are going to try to work through some sort of like, like harmony. But I feel like this week it's like we're trying to go on a search or on a mission. And this is, a, this is, I feel like, about financial. It's like work, financial. Um, it's like we're really trying to move forward but we're finding it very hard to move forward and finding like obstacles in the way but I feel like too there's things here about home and family um, I feel like wanting I feel like we're gonna want that togetherness want that that family that that happy ending but I feel like there's gonna be like a bit of upsets a bit of bit of fights and I feel like we're gonna be trying to get really excited with love but it's it's that that in Virgo it's about finding that perfect partner that perfect relationship getting really worried and frantic about what people think or or what we're doing um, but I, I, we're trying to search for the right partner and be certainly particular on what we want in a partner too. But it, it's like we're not, we can't see everything. We're being a bit blind. Um, but there could be a lot of people that end relationships with this square or they've had enough um, where the communication to break down or it's just been too frustrating and it's like trying to mend um trying to mend but I also feel like it's a week of standing up to bullies if someone's bullying you it is a week to standing up to those bullies and to you know to show that you're not you're not really scared of them anymore um to feel like but I do feel like you're taking this this new path this week and someone's trying to help you or, or lead you onto a new path and the path that you take I do feel like it's going to be more of a stable path that you do take or end up taking this week with this and I feel like that people are, are going to kind of be over a few things they really want new they want new stories but they want things to happen in their life they're kind of over where the years have just been dragging them like dragging them down and dragging on and there is a, a sense of renewal but I feel like we're all trying to really kind of survive and just try and stay within our power and try and realizing that you know sometimes things aren't bad we're just going to settle with the way things are as well um as well we're coming up with this so that's what i feel like with the the cards um i will do a anything else i like to feel like coming in i feel like three four more coming in 
I just feel like also it's kind of like it is a time to spend more can we getting through the crowd so I do feel like it is a time to spend more on maybe partner but as I thought there's a thing that's finding that soul partner it's probably not going to happen in this transit but it's a, a bit of a tug of war happening but I feel like through the crowd so I do feel like that doesn't uh, could be a third person in some relationships around and you want to try and get that person out and get bring it back to two um I feel like there's a thing here about really planting the seeds and letting them grow about what's coming up and this is to do with your wishes and your wanting what you want to fulfill into your life that's been coming up um again it's about not knowing going down that the road that's a bit unstable trying to make choices that are going to bring more stability in your life and more grounding in your life not not veering off into something that's going to be too risky i feel like that's coming up for this week ahead too i do feel like there could be like some financial losses coming up with this transit um we might find more things it's like I kind of feel like what's happening with the astrology is that we all feel like our, with the, especially with finances and business, that things aren't going well. But I feel like we've all been told kind of lies. But the with the medium, what they're saying out in terms of financial stuff or news, and they're covering things up, um, or they're thinking that the people are kind of deluded and still trying to push through. But there's a feeling of just everything's unstable with our businesses with our finances everything is i feel like really up in the air um i feel like by october this is going to be more revealed like we're going to really see the state that the economies and stuff that are in because i feel like there's been big lies that have been said with this okay um i will do a channel and then i'll do the four cards so let's just see where we're going to go okay um Okay. You all need to know that the earth is spinning at a faster rate. It is now a time of major peace where people want major peace, but unfortunately the peace that you want may not be here. It is a time of mourning, but thinking it back once was and relatives that have passed over are trying to communicate with you all. Connect with your loved ones in the past, connect with loved ones on the other side, connect with people who you know are going to be in your in your same group of understanding and knowledge. For if you mix with people who have erratic changes or erratic personalities other than yours, it's going to be a mix of click of clash and clashing around it is a time for you all to see through the fog and see where everything is coming to falling into place knowing that what you are doing is for your future and your own stability and where you're going to go from there a lot of you are going to be exiting jobs and relationships where things that just have not been great it's like you want to take a quick exit out but you still need to face your responsibility you still need to face what is there for if you run running will only cause you to more conflict remember to always face and finish what you start before moving on to the next thing okay um okay now i'll do some the four cards i'm going to do this deck um it's like my first deck i ever got actually i haven't used it in a long time so i'll use it let's have a look here Just feel that Mercury's been causing so much chaos and that hectic. Which is also with relationships. That's card one, card two, card three, card four. Card number one. Okay. It's like, okay, this week for card number one, it is like you're really trying to... Be in nature, but also I feel like there's a, there's a lot of animals in this picture. So I feel like it's about like like a healing, like healing things that are wounded, like like looking after pets or people who um, like loved ones who are not well. There's a, there's a caring for them, a sense of nurturing coming up. This it's like there's a dramatic change coming in for this week too, and you're really trying to like creep around or knowing what's what's coming in or coming around with you as well. They are very smart and wiser. There's also, um, there could be like a someone like sly or cheeky, like sly fox that's going to be coming around you this week. 
But I just see really big growth and big changes around you. Um, but it's like you're really at one with, I guess, like the animals or the law of, but you're really trying to take care of people around you. But there's a lot of change coming up with this card. Card number two. This card here. This card might feel like you're running out of time, um, like you haven't got enough time to do everything that you want to do. I also feel like it's about like you're feeling like you've you've aged or you've um, like you're feeling really tired as well. There is a sense of of love um, with this card, but it's like you're sort of over the love or you're sort of eye rolling, like you're a bit um, like sort of like over it. There is a sense of wishes also making up your wishes and trying to even like escape should be like escaping relationships around you that doesn't fit your purpose anymore um it i feel like journaling is a good thing for you to do for this week too like having a lot of like journals and, and writing things down writing your feelings down is gonna be good for you for this week um with this card card number three which is this card here Okay, with this card, again, heartache. Since heartache with this card, um, it's like things are being pretty dark around you, but it's going to get a little bit lighter. It kind of will be a blessing in disguise, the relationship that you're kind of leaving or moving, moving away from. You're looking or searching for something that is going to humble you. And going to bring about something that's more humbling, more spiritual. If you're searching for something that you haven't done before, you've got a key to your success and you're storing, it's like you're storing your happiness away. It's like you're not you're not happy this week. And you're really trying to search for some sort of like happiness. Um, I feel like this week's a, it's a, I feel like it's a bit sad. But I feel like this week is about humble beginnings and about things letting go. And I feel like the things that you let go will say be a blessing, but you'll realize that you've got out of something, like you, you realize it's a good thing later on. I feel like this card. And card number four, just this card here. I feel like this card is very spiritual, a lot of purple, a lot of regalness with this card. Um, it is like bowing your head, so I do feel like it's showing gratitude. I feel like it's about, um, again, with the animals, so I feel like it's about like saving animals or having that companion with you that's going to be like that um, unconditional like love that's there with you. Um, it's like you're, I just feel like you're showing, you're, you're bowing to something, so you're thanking someone or you're showing gratitude for someone there's also you've got your loyal friends around you friends that you're going to stick by you through thick and thin um i feel like it's just a lot of um like expression of interest so something that you're interested in to start up this week i feel like would be very good to start up or look into starting and making that plan and final decision to start it this week you're not, you're not hesitating anymore um, like commit to it I feel like with this card and it's about how like you're, you're growing into your own but there's a lot of spirituality with this card so I do feel like there's a lot of psychicness too like you're being more intuitive as well with this card as well this one okay um so um let's see what's going on with me this week I've nearly finished my predictions for India so I've just got to do a few more I want to look at the president um or the leader so I was getting some things that's when we look at his photo and look at that to see what I get with that and a few other things but other than that it's nearly done and I can make the video um, hopefully this week and um, again so at the shop so um, three days a week in Camden um, I'm getting as I said before booked out so I'm getting like booked out nearly in a week in advance almost I've so I have some spots available um, I'm booked out tomorrow Saturday but I have some spots available next week or we can book a reading with me on days that I'm not there um, and it's a different there's a different rate from when I'm there or to when I'm um, seeing you here anyway and I can do zoom from here too um, and I think that's about it 
So thank you for your likes, shares and your comments. And I will see you for my next video. So bye for now. And just stay safe and stay calm with the astrology, especially with the Mercury retrograde. Just take things as they come because they're include blessings in disguise. Like with my window, I got a chip in it, and today I rang it to get fixed. Lucky my insurance will cover it. So there's always can be blessing in disguises.